What is going on guys, it's your boy Lander and today we're going to be going over a trade that yielded me $10,298 on the day. But before I begin, make sure you guys subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below. Again, I'm picking one random comment in every single video to win an Amazon gift card. So if you guys want to be entered into that, make sure you guys comment down below and I'll be picking the winner in the next video. As you guys can see here, here's the profits, here's SPY, the 24 is right there, $10,298. let us get into how exactly I made that. I took two trades on SPY today. I'm not going to go over the first one, but I'm going to go over the second one. The first one, that was just a breakout trade of 393. That was basically break even. Nothing exciting about that one. But here is the second trade that yielded me 45% in a matter of a couple minutes. I think it was like a seven minute trade for 45%. Then I alerted my Discord. At 10.02, I alerted my chat room that I'm getting into SPY puts. So let's go over the trade and how I was able to figure that out. So all these goal levels are from the hourly time frame. This one was yesterday's pre-market high that never broke. This one was a key level that I found on the hourly time frame. This one was pre-market high right here. And then this one was also something I found on the hourly time frame. All these blue lines are intraday support and resistance. But just because they're not key key levels, they're also something to note. So number one, we had a strong push up in the beginning of the day. We had about seven green candles in a row pushing all the way up to yesterday's highs. We started rejecting that pre-market high, but we did get a fake out right here above that 393. That's where I went long just to get to break even on that trade. So that was the first trade that I did take. I wanted to play that breakout of 393, ended up getting stopped out for break even or about $11. So there's nothing really to talk about there. Excellent discipline on my part though. If you look on the two minute time frame, you can see that that pre-market high previously is its resistance right now. So this is where it's been rejecting at around that 392.94, around that 393. So you can clearly see that resistance right there building up. The reason why I had this 392.25 level marked out was because it kept bouncing at this area. Once it came above that area, it started to bounce off that area. Again, it came down, retraced all the way down and started bouncing at that area again. So I knew that 392.25 is going to be a support level. We continue to hold this spot up here again, 392.25, but what happened after, we started to crash down around that 391.9. This is where we bounced around 391.9. The reason why I had this 391.9 level was because that's where we bounced at. So this is where I marked that level at. Because so I saw that we did have the aggressive selling pressure coming in under this support, but then quickly we got bought up and bounced right around that 391.9 level. So then we came back and started holding that 392.25 level again. So this was just a fake out. And then we started to come back up to test that high day. Again, we're just testing that high day right here. Starting to show some resistance here. Again, a lot of resistance coming in. Testing that yesterday's pre-market high, which was tested as its resistance. Again, you guys can see this on the two minute time frame. Clear resistance at the 392.94 level. Rejected again. I could have played puts on that um, and I could have went short on that, but I didn't. Then it started to come back down around this 391.9 level. It was holding 392.25. I wanted to play puts on this just because we had a huge move to the upside and we had aggressive selling pressure coming in throughout this entire time. Every time we came up, sellers just bought this right back down. Again, it did not look good for any sort of long position here. So I wanted to play short, but I wanted to be patient because you can't just get into puts just to get into puts. You have to wait for the right entry and the right setup. So clearly we already see some sellers here, but again, we're starting to get back down to this support level. So I want to wait for some sort of retracement or some sort of rejection to happen again for us to go into puts. This is pre-market high right here. This is where it's bouncing off of that pre-market high. We broke under that 391.9 level and came all the way down to 391.52, which was pre-market high. So we bounced right there. Again, that doesn't mean that we're going to go all the way back up to the new high day. That just means there's buyers there, obviously, because that was its resistance and now it became a support so I knew there was gonna be buyers there that doesn't mean there's gonna to continue to be buyers there to the point where we're gonna go back up to a new high day I just knew there was gonna be some sort of support at that area so now price is kind of holding this again I want to see this retrace to a resistance level for us to get puts the resistance level that I was looking at is at 392.25 this is not a resistance level right here yes it was this low right there but the real tested resistance level is going to be this level here at 392.25 look how many times we tested this we came back tested it again tested it again finally broke down and look what happened we came back and tested that pre-market high now we're testing that 392.25 you can see the higher this candle is exactly 392.25 
I'm not going to get in right away just because I want to see another test. I want to see if buyers are able to get above there. I want to see if sellers are still there and able to take it right back down. If so, and if that candle turns red, I'm getting in puts. You guys can see that buyers bought it right above this, around that 392.32, so about seven cents above that level, and then sellers brought it right back down. If you guys saw this in real time, sellers brought it right back down. Buyers were not in control whatsoever. My stop loss, a very low, low risk to a very high reward. My target was low a day. And you guys can see how far low a day is from right here. My stop loss is going to be the previous candle's high, so this high right here, which is around that 392.32. I said if buyers are able to bring it right above that, I'm going to get stopped out. So a very low risk for us targeting that low a day. Then we started bouncing again at that pre-market high. Again, very aggressive selling pressure. I knew there was going to be some sort of bounce just because this is support right now. I want to be patient and give the trade some sort of breathing room because again, we're still at this pre-market high. That doesn't mean we are going to bounce and make a new high. I knew there was a lot of sellers here, so I just waited. I was patient with it. Next thing you know, we break pre-market high with a lot of sellers. This came all the way down around 390.8. This level was not there beforehand. I marked this level just because that was the low of this, around that 390.8 level. That's the reason why I made that 390.8 level was because it came all the way down here and started bouncing a little bit. So this is why I marked at that 390.8. I knew that since we had such a huge sell-off right there, that was about a dollar move right there on SPY, I knew there was gonna be some sort of buying pressure coming in just because a lot of people you know, are gonna be taking profits just because of that huge move like that. I was being patient with it, I started taking some off here though. I did not want a green trade going red. So I did start taking some off here. Not a lot, but I did start taking some off here because I was targeting that low a day. But you could easily see on the tape that this was just people taking profits. When it started coming up, I marked this level. This was the high of it around that 391.12. I said, if it goes above that, then I'm probably gonna look to exit more or just take the entire position off. Next candle open came up around 391.09. So about three cents away. And then sellers immediately took this right back down. And it was still kind of holding that low right here, which is around that 390.8 level. Next candle, we break it with size again. And then once we started getting to that low day, I sold it right before we broke low day, just because usually at low day, we're bouncing. You know, there's a lot of buyers there. That's the reason why there's low day. So I didn't want to get caught up in a bounce. So this is why I sold right near that low day, around that 390.2 level. Overall, 45% in a couple minutes, not bad whatsoever. Six minutes, 45%. You can't beat it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a like. So now I'll be picking the winner of last video's giveaway. Again, if you guys want to enter into these giveaways, make sure you guys just leave a comment down below and I'll be picking the winner of this video in the next video. So the winner of last video's giveaway is Tyler M. If you're seeing this, you have 24 hours or until I make my next YouTube video to DM me on my Instagram, which is right above this, to claim your gift card. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below, obviously, for that giveaway. And I have a free telegram in the description down below. I just basically send out my recast for the day, educational content for free. So if you guys want to join that, link in the bio, why not? I also have a Discord chat room where I live trade every single morning, do three to five lessons per week. I also have a whole community of like-minded individuals. I'm also telling you guys when I'm getting in the trades and when I'm getting out of the trades. I also post my watch list daily so you guys know exactly what I'm getting into before I get into it. So if you guys are serious about trading and you guys want more info on that, make sure you DM me on Instagram, which is right above this again. Or you guys can just go ahead and sign up down below. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.